maybe I should talk about our, our three three person list. I um, mean, you know, we, we've heard national reporting. We've heard these names, obviously, locally um, floated around, discussed as the top candidates. So will one of these three coaches, Bill O'Brien, Matt Campbell or Lance Leipold, will they be Nebraska's next head coach? At this stage, it feels like that's likely unless there's like an outside contender that comes in later. Um, I, out of those three, I'm going to lean more toward Campbell and Leopold. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just my gut feeling. Yeah. Um, not to discount Bill O'Brien's credentials or anything like that, but he hasn't been a head coach in the college ranks in a decade. That's a really long time. A lot has changed. Um, yes, he's back in the college game now working at, you know, the – Nick Saban school for rejected coaches to, for, to <laughs> yep. rehab them. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was in the NFL for a lot before that. And like, it's such a different game. I mean, Saban himself knows that. He's mm. considered one of the best coaches in college football history. The NFL was not kind to him. So, you know, I just, I don't know. Um, it would be cool. Bill O'Brien's a great coach. But can he be a head coach in college again? I don't know. Maybe. But as far as Matt Campbell goes, that one's really interesting to me. Because you hear on both sides, right? Like, you know, Iowa State hasn't done a lot under him, blah, blah, blah. I've done more than Nebraska lately. And when you listen to Trev, you know, it, we can't be talking about championships. We have to talk about, you know, getting the small things right and moving forward under Campbell and Lance, you can do that. Um, as far as Lance goes, I'm a KU grad, so I'm a little biased. I love what he's doing, um, rock chalk, but <laughs> um, they're 3-0. and Yeah. It's fantastic. Anyway, um, he hasn't been there for very long. And so how do you view what's happening there? Um, is it a fluke? Like, can they contend for the Big 12 title? I don't think so. But, you know, he hasn't been at Kansas very long. Um, he has, you know, turned around programs everywhere he's been. He's won at every level. Um, but if you want somebody with extensive Power 5 experience, I don't know if that's yeah. Lance. But again, yeah. I don't know what Trev is thinking. I would love to know what Trev is thinking. <laughs> Wouldn't um, we all, huh? But, yeah, so that's just where I'm at right now. Um, no, I, I think I agree with you. I think you look at these three coaches and, you, you know, you mentioned it. They've all done, a, yeah, they've all done different things, but they've all been able to take a program that was really going through a tough time and make it better, which is exactly what Nebraska needs right now. So, yes, I mean, we, we can see a wild card. We can see somebody, you know, come through the ranks. We've heard Matt Rule, you know, I, you mentioned the NFL aspect. I mean, he did a great job at Baylor. Um, in a very similar circumstance as well, again, a program that um, needed a lot of work, you know, to get back to where they had been. So, 